And a disturbing <coughs> discovery at a home near Mulvane. More than 60 animals were found in a house in deplorable conditions. Animal Control was able to save most of them, but now their lives are on the line again if they can't find them homes. Case Eli Higgins joins us live with the tales. Eli. Sleeping peacefully in clean uh, cages tonight, thanks to the folks here at Beauties and Beasts. Now, we spoke with a neighbor, and she says she's devastated just now finding out how uh, bad of a situation these animals had it just across the road from her. When you see that many crates being carried in and that many people, then and you, you just automatically know the situation isn't good. Melody Marshall, who didn't want to show her face, was appalled last week when she found out what was going on right across the street. It's just, it's shocking. As an animal lover, you don't want to hear of any animal living in that kind of environment. Um, it's just, it's horrendous. Last Thursday, someone sent a tip to Animal Control that there was a hoarding case at this house east of Mulvane. This is what they found. Now you can see. At least 60 or more cats, some dogs, and a pig living in these horrendous conditions. Marshall seeing this video for the first time. This is video of one of those kennels. Oh my God. And one of them was this guy. As you can see, hi buddy. Number 22. Still traumatized and with stained fur from living in his own feces. Man, it's hard, but then it's even harder meeting him and knowing that we have to figure something out. Datha Wilson and the team at Beauties and Beasts are the ones trying to get them help. The problem is the shelters are full. Right now, very few volunteers. Animal Control is still taking them out and they have multiple at an undisclosed location. Um, they are working on getting them through the shelter because the shelter is so full. Um, and we need foster homes. Wilson says if more foster homes don't become available, many of these cats will end up having to be put down. Something Marshall says would be unthinkable after what they've already been through. I hope everybody involved is prosecuted to the fullest extent, and I hope that the law prevails and that they are never allowed to own an animal for the rest of their lives. In the county says at least one cat was found dead in that house. The sheriff has not made any arrests though at this point. Now, if you would like to help uh, foster one of these cats or even adopt one, we will have more information on this uh, up at our web website. That's cake.com. I'm reporting live, Eli Higgins, Cake News on your side.